Uh, my name is Joel Swagger and uh, standing here next to Dreadnought, uh, a broken Dreadnought. Uh, we were qualifying it here at the uh, last Reno Air Races in 2023 and uh, second lap of our qualifying run, uh, we had a complete engine failure. And um, it was uh, running well until then and we were going fast and running good, good speeds and good times. And, um, we uh, typically um, are a very reliable airplane that kind of sets the pace for everyone else, so it was um, uh, an unexpected failure. We didn't have much warning it was going to happen. Um, the first lap of the qualifying run, we um, were 441 and hoping to do something similar to that or better. Uh, we were going for uh, something faster than the Bardal airplane, which at that time was 444, and uh, it would have been a good race, a good match between the two. Um, and so we were uh, coming down on the second lap, coming off of pylons um, five and six, and um, about then there was a, just a little change in the tone of the engine that kind of had my attention, but uh, no change in any of the pressures or temperatures or any indication that um, it was on the way to fail. Um, something that you might think was a spark plug going out or maybe a broken exhaust or a piece of tape on a piece of tape coming loose off the canopy will make a lot of noise too. Um, and then uh, coming into um, pylon seven and eight, it started backfiring violently of instant onset and um, so there was no question about what had to happen then and it was pulling up off the course declaring a mayday and um, and then trying to uh, maximize how much energy we had left and luckily going the faster you're going the easier that all is Come off the course, found out that um, the engine was not carrying its own weight, so there's no point in leaving it running. And so it was um, pulling the prop handle all the way back to uh, minimize um, uh, drag from the prop. Um, we got up to about peak climb, and we were on a perfect downwind for runway 14. And um, I think yeah, I made a couple of calls to the ground crew, letting them know what I had done as they were reminding me of things to check in the airplane and giving me clues as to um, if it's smoking, if it's on fire, I would like to know. And um, luckily it was just smoking a little bit. Turned base for 1-4 uh, with good, good energy, still a lot of runway left, put the gear out. The prop was still turning, which runs a hydraulic pump, so I didn't have to do any sort of emergency extension. Um, with the gear out, still um, um, we're good on airspeed and altitude, and so um, if anything, maybe a little high, so I put all the flaps out. And then as I rolled onto final, still high, still fast, push the prop back forward to try to slow it down even more. I think I touched down about a third of the way down, which was ideal. And as we were rolling out, it did finally seize and, and quit and getting, trying to get everything shut off and all the switches in the cockpit shut off because we don't know what's leaking out of it. Um, uh, coasting, coasting up and off the runway, we kind of got off, off onto a taxiway just a little bit and um, Crash Fire Rescue was on it. They were right there as I came to a stop. Um, they told me to get out of it quick because they thought fuel was pouring out of it, but it was water from all of the water cooling systems that it has. Um, so luckily um, we didn't um, have it leaking fuel or oil or anything catastrophic like that. And um, that, that's kind of how that went. We have, uh, 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 the nice thing about this airplane is it's, um, it's a good airplane. So. As all the emergencies are happening, I know when I put the gear handle down, I know it's gonna come down. I know when I key the mic to declare a matey, I know the radio's gonna work. 
I know that everything else in it is still in perfect shape. I don't have to worry about a secondary emergency because the airplane is maybe poorly maintained and so that was a big advantage. Um, for all the races too, we have a safety plane that's flying overhead and they're watching for May days. And um, before race week, it's uh, Robbie Patterson and uh, uh, P-51. And so when I declared the May Day, he already knew where I was on the course. He knew how to get to me and he was flying pretty close by on my wing and ready to tell me if he saw anything that was um, uh, gonna be a problem. So some of the stuff that he could relay to me would be, you know, it's smoking, it's smoking bad, it's on fire. You got something hanging off of it, any external damage. If I had to, you know, he, he might even recommend bailing out if the thing was on fire or something to that effect. Um, he could give me um, any advice on a runway, any runway obstructions. And if I was coming up short on the runway, he might also advise if I was landing too long, he might say, hey, the end of the runway's coming up. Why don't you ought to ground loop it or knock the gear out of it or do something like that so that you don't go off off the end of there's a cliff off the end of one four and so uh, he did a, an awesome job um, helping me and um, it all worked out. We think a, a master rod bearing went away and so the master rod is traveling around in orbit on the crankshaft and when it fails it allows it to travel further and if it travels further then uh, piston to valve clearance goes away and it can knock in this case, it knocked an intake valve off, we think. With the intake valve knocked off, um, every time that cylinder fires, it explodes the whole um, induction charge and burns it and it backfires and it goes out the inlet. And so it shuts off all the cylinders. They don't ever get any of their fuel air mixture because it's lighting off inside the induction system, and backfiring out the, uh, out the front. So. Um, it's hard to know that at the time what, what's happening, but that was why adding power, trying to find anything that would make it run, just would make it backfire worse as you add more fuel to it. Um, so shutting it down was less violent than, than anything else, and it wasn't going to make any power no matter what I tried.